Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kazooie here, and welcome to episode two of Skilling to Glory. Yes, guys, today is the day where we're finally getting into some gameplay, and I'm going to be showing you the squad we uh, built around Edison Flores. In case you missed out the episode from yesterday, where I gave you a brief introduction to the series, in case you are not familiar with it, then I would uh, recommend checking it out. Link is in the description down below and also at the end of the video. So, first of all, before we're going to go into the team, I'm going to be showing you the challenges we have uh, for the Edison uh, Flores skill squad. Uh, the first one is score. Three goals with the unlockable player, which of course is the man himself, Edison Flores. The second one is score three goals, which include a skill move, which is basically a skill goal. And the third one is Bennett like Beckham, which is uh, score a free kick. So um, those are all the challenges. Um, if you have any cool ones that you want me to do for the upcoming uh, upcoming episodes, then uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below. So this is the team I decided to go with. As you can see, it's a mix of uh, gold players, silver players, and of course the only bronze in Flores himself. I tried to make like a full bronze skill squad, but it was really difficult actually getting some good players as well, uh, which are good in-game. So I just decided to go with a bronze, silver, gold squad basically. Um, if you're interested in the team and you want to know the prize and stuff, then there will be a link in the description to Fothead where you can check it out. Um, I will also leave some other squads down below which you guys made for me which you potentially could check out or maybe even try out yourself um, i also got a lot of questions asked uh, what kind of requirements we have when it comes to building skill squads uh, for skill to glory um, i usually try to make teams which are no links wasted if you don't know what it is look it up on uh, on google look it up on fudet it is uh, something that has kind of do with uh, with chemistry and also make sure that you don't include any other five-star skiller which we cannot use yet because I've seen some squads that you guys made for me around Flores which included other five-star skillers but up until this point we can't use any of them yet unless we maybe pack one of them once we uh, of course complete all the challenges with this team. So um, yeah, we have to be lucky on it. But anyway, moving on to the kits. Went with some kits from the Saudi League from al Qadish, I do believe it is pronounced. Um, also, if you have any cool kits that you want me to use in future episodes then uh, feel free to let me know below. So moving on will be the first game we come against a uh, strong team with some informs also a birthday version of uh, s wine there a full bundesliga team so uh, a strong team uh, to play against already in the first episode and we start off great actually 17th minutes some great stuff here from flores a really nice elastico which you can see from the replay Unfortunately, though, the goalkeeper denied the shot and uh, prevented Flores from uh, scoring his first goal with the first chance. Uh, then the 20th minute, yes, Sanchez there on the ball, plays it through my defender's legs, takes the shot with Castro, and then rebound, it is Eswine uh, who taps it in. Uh, Muslera wasn't really looking that great at that point, but um, yeah, he makes it 1-0, a bit annoying, but I could see it coming since this guy had just a really strong attack. Uh, my attack is actually pretty good as well. We got some skillers up front with Rui does, of course. Uh, we have Flores, uh, five-star skill moves, and Robin with four-star skill moves. But since it was my first game with this team, I kind of felt rusty playing with the team. And uh, kind of the skill runs I tried to do didn't really work out that well every time. You can see him uh, making 2-0 as well, a really nice play. And um, yeah, the first half was just a bit rusty for myself. We did get a big chance there, though, with Robin which uh, the goalkeeper saved again with a really nice save. Uh, a few minutes later, we get himself another chance from a uh, corner. Then we get another chance with Robin, a back heel, but it completely went wide. Would have loved to see that one uh, go into the bottom corner. You can see those stats-wise, it was very, very even, but um, I just felt that the first half on my side wasn't really that great, so I really had to step up my game. In the second half, uh, my opponent also decided to kind of slow the gameplay down since he was 2-0 up already, and he felt that I was able to get back into the game fairly easy since I did create some chances. Uh, here as well one with uh, Ruby does the first one of the second half the goalkeeper couldn't clear it away and then it is Robin at the back post making it 2-1 uh, giving us a goal in this game then a uh, 69 minutes some really nice 1-2 passing between uh, most of the midfielders Ruby does sprints through two defenders and then with a cheeky chip shot he beats the goalkeeper as well and brings us uh, back into the game completely making it 2-2 a really really nice goal actually didn't expect him to uh, to chip it over the goalkeeper like that uh, then moving on in the 90th minute uh, my opponent picked up a free kick pass it forward got a really bad touch on it and then we went on the counter with Adam Mielson a player I decided to sub on quite late into the game and since he had full fitness he just completely out sprinted his whole defense a nice skill move to pass it off to Robin he goes with a cheeky no look finish into the back of the net the goalkeeper had no chance there was completely into the corner and uh, we score in the final minute of the game you can see stats wise you could say it is deserved but my opponent had some uh, really big chances as well to even win himself the game so I was really happy with that win uh, then moving on will be the second game of the episode uh, we come up against a team with really low chemistry only 37 uh, full goal team though with some great players actually uh, with the likes of Barzakli and Carvajal but chemistry wise they obviously weren't in the correct position 
And uh, we started off early in the 13th minute, the first big chance with Robin. Uh, obviously tried to score some skill goals in this game, kind of take advantage of my opponent's team. But unfortunately, it was still kind of difficult to do. Um, also here, a few minutes, seconds later, we picked the ball up here with Flores, uh, tried to get a goal with him too. We go on a pretty nice run. Uh, Chiki Migiri spent to beat the defender, then takes a shot there, cross goal, and then hits the post. We get the ball back here with uh, Robin, and we flick it up with Valdez, but then he completely misses the volley. Uh, a few seconds later, he goes for another volley here, but the goalkeeper saved. And um, yeah, a lot of chances within only a few seconds. Unfortunately, still no goal there. Then uh, 30 seconds minute, again, Valdez here going on a little skill run. Runs through inside the box, goes with a chip shot, which had just a little bit too much power. Then 40th minute before half time, a free kick from a lot of distance, but uh, we completely failed to score with Robin. Like, free kicks this year, I don't really understand them, because sometimes when I hit the exact same amount of power, they either go sky high, just completely off target, and the other time they go in, like, really nicely into, uh, into the top corner. It's really weird this year, I don't really understand them. But anyway, moving on, 68th minute, look at this for a goal from Edison Flores. You have to see though in the replay that we got a little help from uh, from my opponent as he just completely deflected the ball. Flores flicked it back and then a really nice uh, like inside foot uh, volley into the top corner to actually only make him 1-0 in this game. So um, yeah, we got the lead, we got a skill goal and we also got the first goal with Flores. So um, yeah, moving on, 80th event, we were close here with the second goal of Flores. But then from the rebound, we make it 2-0 with uh, Valdez, the center attacking mid, who then uh, pretty much makes the game game over. Uh, 85th minute, we run through here with Ruru, does 1-1 with the goalkeeper, heel flick past him. And then the back heel, which unfortunately just goes wide. What a way that would have been to, uh, to end off that game and also end off this episode. You can see from the stats, so many chances for us, only 2-0. I really, really would have liked to uh, to score more goals, especially with Flores. But um, unfortunately, we we didn't do that. Hopefully, we can do that in the next episode. You can see right there, we have eight games left. Scored one goal so far with him. And uh, hopefully, we can uh, complete the challenges with him soon. But anyway, guys, that's where we're going to be ending off this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. would be very much appreciated. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.